Hello everyone, welcome to Virtual Tweak. On today's episode, free disk cleanup tools round trip and also my review of Folder, a new browser homepage service. You can find all the software links in my web blog which is virtualtweak.com. Send me an email, my email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com. Thanks everyone for your comments in my web blog and welcome to the show. Do you want to get rid of junk files? Yes, I do. And we can use some freeware tools to do that work for us. Let's start play with dcleaner. dcleaner is totally freeware and you can use dcleaner to delete uh, junk files from your hard drive. At the right side bar, as you can see, these are all junk files type system temporary files, internet temporary files, cookies and all kinds of file types. I'm going to click on this arrow icon in the bottom. It will show me other junk file types. So select the file types you want to delete or scan for and uh, click on analyze. So once you click on analyze it will show you uh, all the junk file types in your C drive. Then click on run cleaner. Once you click on run cleaner, dcleaner will uh, delete these junk files. On the left side, it has some general settings uh, you can choose. For example, hide while cleaning or hide warning messages. So select the uh, settings you want. Let's start with applications. In the application bar, as you can see, uh, it has some tabs over here. Internet, multimedia, utilities, windows. So what it, what it does, uh, it will show you some general software you have installed in your PC. For example, in the application bar, I have window, um, Adobe Photoshop CS2, ISO Buster, and WinRR. In the Internet tab, I have Mozilla Firefox, Azuras, Opera. In the Multimedia tab, I have some Windows Media Player, uh, QuickTime, and stuff like that. So select the application, select the software you want to scan for junk files so dcleaner will scan this application uh, or software folder and it will find some junk files uh, that are associated with that particular software and it will scan for these junk files and it will show you uh, all these uh, uh, file types and you, you can keep these file types or you can delete these file types so for example I'm gonna select Adobe Photoshop CS2 because it sometimes it has some junk, junk files uh, associated with it and in the multimedia tab I'm going to select Windows Media uh, Player and in the utilities and I'm going to select SpyBot that's it so select the application you want to uh, uh, scan for junk files uh, dcleaner will scan that and delete these files for you I'm going to click on internet tab in dcleaner as you can see these are all cache files from my web browser and these are all cookies from my web, web browser you can just click on delete cache files uh, once you click on delete cache it will delete all the cache files from your uh, internet explorer mozilla firefox or opera browser you can also click on delete cookies and it will delete all the files or cookies uh, from your web browser you can also save as a log file so you can see which uh, cache files or cookies you have been deleted so far. Let's look at the tools. In the toolbar it is just simple it is one click uh, uh, option. For example uh, if I want to go to my tax manager I can click on this tax manager button it will show me my tax manager. Uh, if I want to uh, use the command uh, line option I can click on command prompt it will show me the command line. and these are all one click uh, option for dcleaner so if you want to go to a control panel and um, you don't have to go click on start and stuff like that just click on the control panel button it will show you the control panel for windows i'm going to click on options bar and in the options tab these are all basic settings for example you can hide dcleaner while it, while it scans for junk files i'm going to click on cookies tab uh, in cookies tab you can keep a particular cookies uh, if you want for example I want to keep, keep this cookie so I'm going to click on this cookie and I'm going to click on this right bar and dcleaner will save this cookie for me in the internet tab uh, you can click on this uh, show all deleted 
temporary files so once you click on that D, uh, dcleaner will show you all the temporary internet explorer files for you um, maybe you want to see which files dcleaner deleted uh, for your internet explorer i'm going to click on personalize tab in the personalized tab you can add a folder uh, to search for junk files you can add uh, f a particular file you can add registry and this is very nice option because um, uh, uh, you don't have to install another uh, application for registry clean cleaner um, D cleaner also uh, scan your registry for junk files so you can use only D cleaner as a registry uh, cleanup tool uh, select a uh, your external or uh, your other hard drives uh, to scan for junk files also just click on this add folder button and you can add any kinds of folder or hard drives you want and dcleaner will scan these uh, hard drives and all folders for junk files i'm going i'm going to click on advanced tab these are all other settings for dcleaner you can run dcleaner while computers are boot up so once one new boot, once you boot up your pc dcleaner will run automatically and scan for your junk files so dcleaner is totally free and i like it a lot it has some options like paid softwares so um, check out dcleaner if you want to get rid of your junk files this cleaner is another freeware that you can use to get rid of junk files as you can see uh, this is a very simple looking uh, software uh, these are all the uh, junk file types so select the junk file types you want to delete so i'm gonna select system temporary files uh, internet cookies uh, mozilla firefox history cookies and uh, so once you select all these uh, junk files uh, click on, click on the clean button and uh, this cleaner will scan your hard drive for junk files and delete um, delete all these uh, junk files for you and you can also save your profile so um, uh, select the junk file types you want to uh, scan and delete and just click on save as and uh, write down the profile name and you will be um, you can load your profile in the near future so this is a disk cleaner it is a very simple program but it doesn't have uh, uh, nice options like others so uh, check it out it is totally free i system wiper version 2.4.1 uh, is another freeware that we can use to get rid of our junk files as you can see this is a tab based uh, software uh, every tab has their own um, junk file type settings for example in the first tab is ie and uh, aol so you can uh, uh, clear history um, temporary files cookies and stuff like that in windows tab you can clear all all kinds of uh, junk file types uh, for example temporary uh, run history files and find file history and uh, other settings it has uh, directory setup that means uh, sometimes we uh, install our software in external hard drive you can select the um, hard drive over here and um, i system wiper will scan will scan for these uh, external or internal hard drives for um, junk files i uh, in other tabs in uh, media player you can uh, select media player and uh, get rid of uh, recent file list and uh, stream, streaming video links in the option tab you can create a profile so once you set up all these tab and uh, junk files type you want to get rid of you can uh, create a profile and you can select a hotkey uh, for example I, I have selected shift plus f1 so once I set up my profile I can just uh, press shift and f1 then uh, i system wiper will scan my hard drive and delete all the junk files for me so this is a very nice option hotkey and uh, this is i system wiper version 2.4.1 it is uh, freeware so check it out glock temporary cleaner is another freeware but glock only scan for temporary junk files it doesn't support other uh, junk file types and uh, you can uh, select your hard drive over here or any kind of folder of files you can uh, glock also has support for network hard drives a network hard drive so it is a very nice option and you can also add your own uh, temporary junk file types for example these are all the junk uh, temporary junk uh, file types 
you can add your own if you want to so this is glock you can also create your, create or save your profiles um, for uh, glock and uh, check it out it is totally free glock temporary cleaner only cleans your temporary files so we can use these three freeware tools to remove uh, our junk files and uh, how about broken shortcuts and you can use a freeware tool it's called orphan remover uh, version 1.8.9 it is in beta uh, build format which is build 36 and you can use this software to scan for broken shortcuts and it will remove these broken shortcuts uh, shortcuts for us and you can select these um, shortcut types uh, start menu shortcut desktop sh shortcut favorites history uh, temporary directory program files and application data it is very nice tool and um, if you want to get rid of uh, broken shortcuts then orphan remover version 1.8 is for you double killer um, it, this is my one of my favorite uh, freeware and uh, what it does it will scan your hard drive for duplicate files and you can uh, scan uh, for uh, particular hard drive or folder uh, for duplicate file types and it will find this duplicate file types it will show you the name and the uh, directory path and you can select these duplicate file types and delete uh, from your hard drive and i'm going to click on option as you can see you can find duplicate file types by uh, file types by name by size and by da by the data so it is a very nice tool and uh, what you have to do just click on this uh, plus button and select your hard drive CD, uh, cd dvd or network drives and it will scan for duplicate file types so this is double killer uh, a freeware tool you can use to uh, delete or get rid of uh, duplicate file types hard drive information so if you want to know about your hard drive uh, for example the read and write uh, speed and uh, hard drive health information any error code so you can use uh, some of the free tools uh, to get the information uh, for your hard drive uh, the first one is HD tune uh, this is version 2.10 it is a hard disk utility at first as you can see um, the my hard drive temperature is uh, 43 degree and uh, you just have to click on the start button so once you click on the start button uh, HD tune will read and write at the same time in your hard drive and it will show you the maximum read speed and maximum write speed so I'm going to click on info and it will show you some of the model firmware version for your hard drive the serial number capacity and stuff like that I'm gonna click on health and this is the inform information uh, you want to look at uh, this is the raw read error rate and uh, the read error for your hard drive and as you can see right now mine is 70 percent which is very high spin time start stop count and all kinds of information about your hard drive so if you want to know about your hard drive health this is hd tune version 2.10 you can use another freeware tool uh, this is called hd health and uh, hd health will uh, will show you all kinds of information about your hard drive as you can see i have two hard drives connected in my uh, pc and uh, i'm gonna click on the first one it is a seagate hard drive as you can see um, uh, hd health is showing me all kind uh, all kinds of information the first one is manufacturer model firmware version and the temperature i'm gonna click on extended info so in the ex extended info tab it will show you all kinds of uh, information about your hard drive uh, details information so if you want to know um, about your hard drive then extended click on extended tab and it will show you i'm gonna click on smart and this is the error page for your hard drive and uh, as you can see the new read uh, the read error spin time uh, start sh stop count uh, these are all information about your hard drive Wha when you see a red error code that means um, if this is a critical error right now i have one so this is very nice uh, tool it is called HD health and uh, you can try out both of these uh, uh, free hard, um, hard drive tools to get information about your hard drive if you want to know your hard drive read and write speed in real time you can use a freeware tool it's called HD speed so I'm gonna click on uh, read speed and I'm gonna click on start 
HD speed is now uh, reading my hard drive and as you can see it is showing me the um, uh, my hard drive read speed in real time so if you want to know about your hard drive uh, read and write speed then try it out HD speed and you don't have to install HD speed um, because it is a self exe file you just double click on the exe file and it will run the software so this is HD speed uh, it will show you your hard drive read and write speed this is my review of fold which is in beta version fold is a browser home page service as you can see um, it is a very clean looking browser home page service uh, they have created and you can use uh, different tools for you uh, for your uh, browser home page uh, which is fold I'm gonna click on this RSS uh, container you can add RSS you can use the not notepad uh, to write down your notes and you can use the weather widgets and in the control panel you can add your own uh, wallpaper and you can upload your own OPML or XML feeds and uh, if you are uh, using uh, dial-up connection then fold is not for you and uh, if you don't use these kinds of tools then uh, I guess uh, fold is not for you and uh, let me show you my start page a browser start page I'm gonna click on this this is my browser start page as you can see I'm a big fan of lost and uh, if you want to create your own browser uh, start page you can go to this website and select your own browser start page and uh, this is very nice and it is very fast it is based on Google's uh, home page uh, they just uh, created a template and uh, changed the look so uh, for me I'm not a big fan of fold and uh, sometimes it's slow and I, I'm, I just want a clean browser home page that's why I use this this one um, and you can get your own uh, by movies and television shows so this is my review for fold check it out and uh, let me know if you like it or not so that's it everybody and uh, please visit virtualtweak.com and uh, I will post all the software links as soon as possible and uh, uh, make sure you clean up your hard drive using those uh, free uh, disk cleanup tools and uh, if you need any help feel free to email me send me an email my email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com please visit virtualtweak.com and download other virtual tweak uh, episodes and thanks again for your comments and I will see you next time take care everyone